guys, welcome back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. Now, I postponed my one video that I was going to release at 12 p.m. noon today. That is for the Otherworld Tournament on Dokkan Battle Review because there was a new data download that was available. I just woke up, I saw it. And I want to make sure I got you all the information out about it as I could. So shout out to legends.dbz.space. Shout out to Renzi. Thank you so much, man, for all this awesome content that gets updated regularly. So if you guys are wondering, I'm over at legends.dbz.space. That's why I keep my URL bar available to use so that way you see what websites I use. Um, all the information about the new data download is here. I will be doing a summoning video for you guys because Frieza is one of my favorite characters. He's one of my favorite villains. Um, so I definitely want to get him. Um, there is a whole bunch of cool stuff here. So we have the new summons that are available. Um, that is, a, this makes the new Frieza available. It's called the Imperial Advent, the Advent of Frieza, the Evil Emperor. Now, I kind of wonder if they are going to do a uh, full power Frieza like they did on Dokkan Battle. That would be interesting. I hope they do because that would be so cool. Um, but you have this Frieza over here. Um, let's see. Sparking characters from this event. He is melee type, special move is death ball, De deals major explode damage, causes enemies to take 15% more strike damage for 15 counts. Main ability, you're going to die, draw an ultimate arts card with death catastrophe next. Requires 25 counts, must elapse, or 25 counts must elapse. Uh, ultimate skill, death catastrophe, <laughs> so much catastrophe here. Deals major explode damage. Um, special skill, telekinesis, immobilizes enemy and causes enemy to have 15% more strike damage for 15 timer counts. Z ability 3, 24% um, to element yellow, uh, yellow base strike and blast defense during battle. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the defense. I mean, defense can come in handy, especially when it's 25%. So that means, because he is a yellow character, by the way, um, which means it's cool because him and Paikuhan are both yellow, so he'll be helping out him and Paikuhan. Um, I wish they actually had um, what type he was, like, up in here, because it's kind of hard with the scouter behind him being green. I wish they made the scouters, like, different colors based off of what they are. Um, let's see, uh, strike, his unique ability against Saiyan, strike attack up 20%. Actually, he's gonna be really good. He's gonna be someone in PvP who will go up against Vegeta's. Now, think, keep that in mind. He's going to be going up against Vegeta a lot better. He's a yellow character, which means he has advantage over Frieza, and he does 20% more strike damage against Frieza. So he definitely, he has that advantage. Uh, now, mind you, it's strike attack damage, so you need to plan that out a little bit better. Um, I usually try to set it up by getting a Key Blast, because Key Blasts are easier to hit and it's easier to dodge. If someone tries to hit you with a Key Blast, the Key Blast trump the melee attacks. So the Key Blast will, um, I always do a Key Blast, and if I connect, then I switch over to strikes. That's just me. Um, and then he has the Frieza Force. So it's anti-Frieza Force restriction. Um, inflicted damage up. 15% inflicted damage against tag Frieza Force. Effect is not uh, applied to character Frieza. Wait, interesting. I don't know. I'm not understanding how that's actually going to work then. Um, oh, it doesn't go up against himself. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's awesome. I wonder if that affects your uh, your allies as well. Uh, and then you also have the new Ginyu. Now Ginyu is available for sale um, inside of the pa inside of uh, for an actual starter pack. I did pick it up. If it's a character pack, I will get it usually as long as it's a sparking character and it's good. Um, now he is a technique character, defensive type. Yeah, I actually see the technique right here. So wait, it's freezing. Yeah, okay, so he does have it. Okay, cool. So it does tell you the type. Um, so yeah, he's technique. Special move, Milky Cannon, deals major explode damage, causes enemies to take 15% more strike for 15 counts, so another strike attack. Also, it's good because he is an offensive, well, even though it says he's a defensive type, um, the fact that he gets an increase in strike damage means he's going to be doing a little bit more damage, which might be a little bit better than Piccolo, because Piccolo uh, doesn't do as much damage as I would like him to do, even though when you start getting him maxed out, it is pretty good. Uh, main ability, your body is mine, draw the Awaken Arts card, body change, next require 25 counts, must elapse. Um, I, I missed when I did that, so I guess there's a chance that it won't go through, so that kind of stunk. Um, Awaken skill, body change, deals major pierce damage, inflicts bleed. Um, a fighting pose causes enemies to take 20% more blast damage for 20 counts. Z ability 3, 22% to tag, uh, Ginyu Force max base health during battle. So he's giving Ginyu Forces 22% more health during battle, so if you do it, so you're going to want, you could set up a whole Ginyu Force team at this point. And they're all helping out the other Ginyu Force members. So keep that in mind. It's awesome. And unique ability. Team Frieza Force Blast Attack Plus. Plus 20% to blast damage inflicted when tagged Frieza Force is a battle member. So that's freaking awesome, actually. So you need to get another uh, Frieza Force member in there, and he gets an additional 20% blast damage. Um, outside of that, you have the Paikuhan, which is still here. The Piccolo is still here. And we have the new Gohan. I wonder, I wonder how Gohan's last. Gohan's also a physical character. Um, I kind of want him, too, but I really, honestly, the one I really want is Frieza. 
His battle style is melee. Special move Masenko deals major impact damage plus 20% to own strike damage for 15 counts. Main ability, the will to fight. 50% strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Requirements, 15 timer counts must elapse. Special skill, unlock key form of attack. Plus 20% to own strike and blast damage for 20 counts, which is awesome. Z ability 3, 19% tag to mixed blood saiyan max base health during battle. There's still not a lot of them, but there will be moving forward in the future. There's always going, there has to be a lot because you have Goten, you have Trunks, you have Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan Gohan, and so on. So you have a lot that, that this is going to be helping. Uh, unique ability, double team strike attack up, plus 20% strike damage inflicted when three battle members are left. Okay, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> Avenge Piccolo strike attack up, plus 35% to strike damage inflicted when allied character Piccolo is defeated. So it looks like you get 20% increase, and then if you have Piccolo and Piccolo dies, you go up to 35%. Now, I try not to let Piccolo die at all because he's a healer. Uh, once I let him heal, he's just a defender, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But those are the new characters that are on the banner, so that's pretty awesome. That's here. Um, let's see, the next, let's go into the Dreaded Ginyu Force event is now on. Uh, clear the story and get Captain Ginyu. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Captain Ginyu Hero. It's not the same one as a sparking character. Uh, I'm not going to really go over any of his stuff. Maybe his Z ability. 25% tag to Ginyu Force Wall for critical hits. So I guess that's alright. That's nothing major. It is It is cool though. You get a 26% increase to critical hits. Um, Team Ginyu Blast Attack. 10% Blast Attack when tag Ginyu Force is another battle member. I believe he has to be actually active for that. So again, he's a hero card. Not that great. Um, outside of that, oh, look at this. Yeah, we get some new items uh, as well. So the real battle begins now. Looks like this is the Vegeta. Vegeta's really upset. Slot base health between 5 to 10%. Slot 2 base strike defense 5 to 10%. And blast defense 5 to 10%. So he, this is more of a, the Vegeta is more of a defensive card. It gives you more health and it helps you defend against strike and blasts. So that's pretty cool. That could be useful for someone like Piccolo, who is your tank. I don't know if there's anything specific that he can attach to. Maybe he can't. He can only attach to Saiyans. Uh, I don't know, but that's something that's going to be really useful if he if he can attach to Piccolo. Um, let's see, Krillin here. Release your key. Slot one base health. Base health is always great. Um, and then the slot two is either going to be a strike attack or strike defense, and slot three is going to be blast attack or blast defense. Wow, up to 18%, guys. That's awesome. So um, I'm hoping if you can get like a double strike attack and blast attack. Well, see, my my thing would be. Um, I would like a strike defense, base health at, as high as it can go, uh, strike defense, and then blast attack for Vegeta, and then vice versa, strike attack for Go Super Saiyan Goku, and, bla and blast defense for Goku. And I will hopefully try to get them to be able to switch up. The only thing that stinks is you gotta use your items and your Zenny to get them awakened before you find out what you're gonna get. So you need to at least awaken it once to find out what your second slot is. But eight, up to 18%, guys, that's freaking phenomenal. Um, you have uh, Gil Guldo over here, lame, I get the scraps. Base health up to 15%. Okay. Uh, he is another defensive unit over here. Uh, he is strike and blast defense up to 20%, though, which is actually a lot better than this Vegeta. So you get rid of that Vegeta, put in the Guldo there. So that's awesome. Then you get Raccoon. Wow, you actually you have a whole bunch of freaking items, man. Maybe I should make this on its own separate video. Uh, Raccoon, uh, bl uh, base health. They're actually, they're all base health. Well, the next two are base health. So Raccoon and Jice are both base health. Slot 2, Strike Attack, then Strike Defense. So Raccoon is a, a Strike Attack and Defense character or item. So that's going to be really good. Um, Jice is Base Strike Attack and Blast Attack Damage Increase, which is awesome. Uh, Burner is going to be a Blast Attack and H or Recovery Up, Gauge Recovery Up. I guess it's Key Recovery. So Key Recovery is actually really awesome to have. I threw my one on Piccolo, and Piccolo regenerates Key so fast. So I'm going to get uh, Burner, and I want to try and get him up to 10% with a Key Recovery gauge. And hopefully I, I can, because I would like to have him. Plus, that's going to be... This is actually perfect for Vegeta, because he does Blast Attack damage up. If you can... Like, the health is okay, but I would be upgrading every single one of these until I get a Blast Attack damage up to 20% up. And then I would like to try and get a, uh, a key re gauge recovery or key, key recovery up to a high, as high as 10% as if I can. So that would be super, super useful for Vegeta because the key blasts take a lot of key. Remember, 30 key per uh, attack. And then you have the last two. One is the uh, Captain Ginyu and then the full Ginyu Force. Captain Ginyu is just damage up to 15% increase. Uh, base strike defense and blast defense up to 15% on slots 2 and 3. And then Ginyu Force. Base strike attack up to 15%, base blast attack up to 15%, and then 
5 to 10% damage to Saiyan. Each slot is guaranteed to have one ability assigned to it. To unlock slot, uh, slot 2 and beyond, you must upgrade your equipment, obviously. So that's cool. Um, those are all the newer items. That's so awesome. Also, we have the new scout battles, which you can do for Burger and for Guldo. Um, we're going to talk about them just real quick. Uh, you, have, you have Guldo over here. He is an agility hero character. Not that great. But his Z ability is 23% tech to Ginyu Force, which is good. Um, I would never actually use him in battle unless I didn't have any other choices. Then you have Burger, which is right here, which is going to be 23% tech to Ginyu Force base strike defense during battle. So that's all right. Um, we also have some other stuff that has come out. Update contents. Uh, normal part mode, part one, chapter seven, episode eight. Must be cleared before playing hard mode, chapter one. So that's basic stuff. Uh, made the PvP battle outcome the same for disconnection and character selections and in battle. So I guess that means when you're when you're at the, the character selection screen, if your opponent disconnects, you get the same type of, um, I guess, uh, uh, whatever type of thing that they do, like they hold against you, they hold you accountable. Because I guess if you go up against someone, they have a lot higher units than you do, higher level units than you do, and you leave, it's going to be bad for you. Uh, depending on the unlocked abilities of the equipment, the flash beneath the icon will now have different colors. High percentage abilities will be shown in orange, so keep that in mind. When checking how to get different types of souls from the Soul Boost tab, you can now find the information of stages where you can acquire the souls more easily. I also read somewhere about the, um, you can now, I guess you could find out which, uh, with the drop, not the specific drop rates, but I guess which ones will drop more easily it means it's going to show you which ones drop easier. Battle calibration adjustment, um, adjusted the efficiency of Solar Flare. Um, it's no longer possible to evade the attack by moving to the sides, which is cool. Made super strike moves and ultimates unable to be evaded by backstep. I told you guys this during the actual training guide, so that's going to be an update right there. You can no longer evade by doing a backstep when trying to do a strike move. I, just, I saw that happen. I was very upset. <laughs> uh, they can only be eva evaded with vanishing step. Additionally, the following issues have been fixed. Um, circumstances where players who initiated a disconnection were deemed as winners of PvP matches. Finally, get that hell out of here. Circumstances where missions were reached certain Z levels could not be achieved. Don't know what that is, but I'm assuming uh, you couldn't get to a Z level for... Um, I, I don't know. I guess you couldn't get to a Z level or something like that. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Characters could not be switched when forcing the opponent to switch characters or when switching, when switching command is made right before a knockout of the opponent. Um, interesting. When a cover change is being performed, the command to switch characters could not be cancelled. Yes, that's a very pain in the butt thing. I would love it to be cancelled. The number of equipment slots, they need to make it able to cancel other things like Rising Rush and, um, you know, maybe a super attack, stuff like that. The number of equipment slots was not correctly displayed. Okay. The displayed rewards and actual rewards were different from the challenge rewards for each bo uh, bonus battle chapter 1. When Cybermen activated self-destruct, the damage action could not be performed correctly if the action was taken at certain timings. Interesting, okay. So, uh, text corrections, adjustments, fixed other bug. So that's basically everything that was updated as well. So this was a really nice update. Uh, Krillin, Scout Battle, Hard is also here. You win, so you go up against him and go up against Hard. He's still only a hero, but at least it's Hard. He does 20% uh, element, pure uh, base blast defense, pure uh, purple. Sorry, purple. Intelligence based blast defense. So he's good for helping Vegeta defend. I do have him on my Vegeta specific team. Right now I have everything set up. Like I have one team set up for Goku, one team set up for Vegeta just because there are like very few 1000 SP characters in game. So I have everything kind of focusing around them. Just so that way they do the most damage and have the most defense. Um, so that's pretty awesome. But again, he's a hero, but he's there. So go ahead and do that. There's going to be a lot of grinding right now. Um, as I said before, there is the Ginyu uh, pack. I think it's $25. I picked it up because I like Captain Ginyu. Uh, plus, he's a he's a sparking character. If it's a sparking character, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up. You also get 1,100 Chrono Crystals, so um, I will definitely be doing summonings because I want to see if I can get that Frieza. So stay tuned for that. That's probably gonna go up tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, let's see. And then we have the huge thanks for the 10 million downloads worldwide super login bonuses. Now, for this, I, I should have maybe done this at the beginning of the video, because some of you might have fallen off by now. Uh, when, it, when you first logged in, I chose the Chrono Crystals, and then after I chose the Chrono Crystals, I chose the Super Stole 2, uh, the physical ones, because that was, was available, and then I chose the Zenny, because those are the three things that you can run out the most. Obviously, the Chrono Crystals are just the most important, always the Chrono Crystals, but the Super Soul 2, the Super Soul 2, because that's also recommended, obviously, and then the Zenny, because I'm always running out of Zenny before I run out of Crystals, and Crystals are easier to grind. So, uh, 
it looks like you get a whole bunch of other stuff here but yeah i chose the zenny times 3000 100 chrono crystals and super soul tool super soul two yellow so actually i don't even have them in the box that's weird because i want to go check and i only have two of them and it says you know i was supposed to pick up three but i'll have to figure that out maybe there will get some compensation for that um, and outside of that, I already went through everything. We talked about the uh, Frieza. We talked about the, the Kid Gohan and the Captain Ginyu. We do have a Final Form Frost that's here. Um, I guess, you know what, I guess I'll go from here because the pictures aren't available yet. So we got this new Frost over here, as you see here. Um, we have the two new Frieza's, first form and third form, which is awesome. We have Yamcha, and these are extreme characters. I actually do make an attempt to get my extreme characters to a thousand as well. Uh, you have Yamcha, you have Vegeta, uh, and you have... Actually, I think it was just Yamcha and Vegeta, and that's... Oh, and the new uh, Piccolo fused with Nail. Oh, look at that. They, they actually has uh, an image here. So that's pretty damn awesome. Oh, it looks like the uh, the page, maybe everything got updated. There was a slight update before I started recording my video. Yeah, there we go. So now we have the Frieza, and now we have the Go Gohan. Uh, now we have the Captain Ginyu. So those are just there for the pages on Dragon Ball Legends or Legends.dbc.space. This is the new Frost. This is the new third form Frieza. This is the new Yamcha. Who is this one? This is the new Vegeta. Actually, the Vegeta is pretty cool because in the background it has the scene where he's crying, asking Goku to avenge the Saiyans, which is that's just that was such an epic scene. That was just a tearjerker right there. Um, actually, I'm kind of interested in the freezes real quick. Uh, I appreciate you guys staying with me. Okay, so he just blew base strike attack. That I thought he was gonna be something with like Frieza Force or something like that. Uh, that's all right, I guess. Third form Frieza. What's his Z ability? His Z ability is purple base blast attack during. Oh. That's awesome. So, you guys, if you guys are running Vegeta, third form Frieza is going to be someone you want to run with Frieza, with Vegeta because he will do increased purple base blast attack or intelligence blast attack damage increase. So, that's going to be awesome. And he's an extreme character, so there's going to be a higher chance to pull him. Um, Frost is going to be blue base strike attack and blast attack during damage. So, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, what's Yamcha do? Yamcha's Z ability is green base blast attack during uh, battle. Okay, that's, I guess that's cool. Um, I guess he'll be good for Piccolo and um, uh, Frieza. Or no, uh, Piccolo and Ginyu. Vegeta is another technique character. Saiyan base blast attack. So you're going to have Vegeta on the team with the other Vegeta. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you're going to have Vegeta and third form Frieza. That's going to benefit Vegeta from here. And fused with Nail Piccolo. He is a physical type. And yellow health restoration during battle. Um, I don't know what that means. Yellow health restoration. I don't. I don't know that your health re recovers. So, that's interesting. Um, maybe it means when you use Piccolo's special, he will do that. Oh, look, he does have uh, restore ally health by twenty percent and cures abnormal condition when you use his ability. So he is a healer, guys. So you have an extreme type healer. If you didn't get the other Piccolo, he is a healer, and it looks like he d increases yellow character health restoration. So he's going to be really good if you're running Paikuan. Um, you might want to consider running him instead of the other Piccolo. I guess it depends on how they're going to stack up. I'm not going to do a comparison guide right now, but that is available. But anyway, guys, I've been rambling on long enough. It's about 20 minutes in. I know there's a whole bunch of data dropped information I just gave to you. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if this was helpful, useful information for you. Thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.